Hello my friends and welcome to another Affinity Photo Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about frequency separation and why it is such a powerful tool to protect the natural and crisp look of a photo. Um, I prepared this portrait, so let's get started right away. I will duplicate this layer just to show you the before and after, you don't have to do that. And next we are going to go up here to filters and frequency separation. Uh, what it actually does is it protects the edges and the details of the photo. And down here, you can select how much of details you want to filter out. So I will set it to 1.5. Let's go 1.5. And there's another feature down here. It says feature protection tolerance. If you click on that, you will see that it will protect the smaller features like the beard and the eyes, stuff like that. Not going to do this right now, um, but you can experiment with that. I will click on apply and now I have two layers. One is called high frequency, the other one is called low frequency. If I hide the high frequency layer, I basically end up with an unsharp picture and we will edit this picture the most and the rest will be protected. It's really, really cool. So let's go up here where we have a big wrinkle on the forehead and we want to remove that. I will hide the high frequency layer so you can see what is going on. I will click on the low frequency layer and select the in paint brush tool. Let's just select the parts that are irritating that we want to remove. So this here, maybe the red patch down here, maybe the bit up here. I can see now the skin is nice and clean. And uh, now if we reactivate the high frequency layer, Everything is preserved. The skin looks very natural. We have the reflections. We even have a wrinkle left, but it's very, very reduced now. So the age of the face is preserved, but it looks better. We can improve the face that way and it's still very natural. Let's do the same thing here. Now I will not hide the high frequency layer, but I will edit the low frequency layer. Let's go here, remove this wrinkle or reduce it. You can see, there we go. Let's remove this. Let's go up here to these brown patches. And up here is a little bit more. So you can see you can really improve a lot in the picture while you preserve the natural look. This is really, really nice. You can even do it down here if you want to. So um, you can play around with this picture as much as you want. There is some red parts down here. We can remove those. and. Now, if you see, okay, there is too much here that is being preserved from the wrinkles, you can still go to the high frequency layers and do the same thing here. And now you see, even here, the wrinkles are going to be removed. We are going to do the same with the skin irritations over here. So let's go to the low frequency layer. Be a bit careful here because there's the glasses up here. We don't want to... Um, pull this into our skin layer. Uh, so let's go like this and this and this and here, here a little bit more. And now if you think this is still not enough, you can still go to the high frequency layer and again, go over the details and remove them down to your taste. I wouldn't make the skin too clean because you don't want it to look like plastic. You want it to look natural and nice. And frequency separation really, really helps us with keeping helps us with keeping it natural. The other thing we can do now is basically apply makeup to the face after the photo has been taken. So you can see here on the nose there is way too much uh, reflection, and there's also some red skin parts. What I will do now is I click on the low frequency layer. And I will select our selection brush tool to protect the glasses. Um, set them to, yeah, this is a nice, uh, to a small size. So there we go. Just the glasses over here and over there. Click in here a little bit. That was too much. Uh, we're going to go to refine to improve our selection. Tell Affinity Photo that this is the background with a bit of a smaller brush. There we go and it will help make a better selection. There you see, um, that's pretty good. Yes, I will keep it like that. Apply. Now we have selection and the selection would enable us to work in here, but we want to work on the other side. So let's go to select and invert 
pixel selection. So now we can work here and this part is protected. Very nice. Next we're gonna do is create a new layer and the layer should be between the high, low, the high frequency and the low frequency. We're gonna go over to the brush tool, um, select a nice size, maybe like this, yes. Hardness to zero, opacity to 100%. And then we are going to select a skin tone that is close to the nose. Up here, for example, click again on the selection so it's getting activated. And now we can use it to paint onto the nose. You see, very easy, very fast. Um, we can also select it again and select a little bit darker skin tone, go over here. And this helps us to make the shadows lighter. You see, so to make, to give the face a softer expression, um, even make this, the nose a little bit smaller than nose bridge. It seems a bit white for this guy. So there we go. We can even go in here, um, re, re, uh, repaint this a little bit. I will do another selection of the color because this should be not that dark. Okay. And now what we can do is with the opacity of the layer, we can select how much of the makeup do we actually want to apply to the face. And I would suggest to you to zoom out so you see all of the face, so you can uh, decide which look is best. So maybe we keep it like this. Now the texture on the face is a little bit too extreme for my taste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the high frequency layer and I'm going to use the smudge brush tool to make it a little bit unsharp. You see, if I brush on here, the details getting smudged a little bit, so they're getting unsharp. And this looks more natural, looks nicer. Uh, we can also remove um, this down here. So we go again on the low frequency layer, use our in paint tool, go on here and then go to the high frequency layer, go again, and there we go, removed. So um, you can spend hours on this if you want with the improvement. Um, experiment, try it out, see what you like. And um, well, it's basically up to your taste how much you feel needs to be removed and how much you feel should stay in the picture. I would advise you not to remove too much because it still should look natural. Let's go deselect so we can see all of the picture. And so I think it's better to let's keep a little bit of the age and of the skin degradation and remove just the parts that are too intense. Uh, I will group up all of the layers so um, I can show you the before and after. So this was what we started with this is what we end up with. You can see it's a lot of improvement. You can still do a lot more to the picture. This is just an example to show you how it works. But you can see it's really easy. It's really effective. You can do a lot of things even after the picture was taken. And one of the most uh, uh, common errors is that you have a shiny nose. And this will really give you the ability to remove that and of course, um, wrinkles and other stuff that are not so nice. Again, before and after. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. This was uh, the tutorial for frequency separation. And let us uh, let me talk a little bit about Patreon and how you can support me. Uh, if you're one of my Patreon supporters, you will get the original file, this file with all the layers, so you can see what I did and you can use it to exercise and learn more. And um, this is my Patreon page where you can support me. It's just $1 for early supporters, $1 per month. Uh, you get a lot of files to download, a lot of extras. You get access to our Discord channel where we can live chat and talk about problems. And of course, you get more of a say in the next topics that I will use for my videos. So it's really, really nice um, and very cheap. So head over, check it out. And if you want, support me. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye.